everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another book review. I just read Agatha Christie's first book, Mysterious Affair at Styles. And <laughs> Agatha was told by many of her peers, so called, that you'll never get on in the writing world due to the fact that you're a woman and women don't write. Women stay at home, women stay in the kitchen, etc. They they gave her that whole uh, well, this is a woman's lot. This is a woman's role. And she defied all that. And she wrote The Mysterious Affair of Styles. And it was a hit. Duh. But um, <laughs> I adore Agatha. I've always loved her work. I've never really read any of the books. But I did read um, The Orient Express, which is, for all intents and purposes, a classic of literature. And it, it's just a... A glimmering example of how a whodunit should be written as such to keep the the viewer's attention and it's just just um such a spectacular book and <laughs> also a bit of an object lesson too but styles is similar it, it's got the same kind of ingredients as um orient did um it's Definitely a page turner. It's, it's way too short, but you know that Hercule is going to go and solve more cases. And you think, oh, yes, Hercule is going to go and solve more cases again. And you just, you're excited about that. And you know that you'll get to see more of Hercule and get to um, see his investigative method and his hypothesizing is brilliant. And I love Hercule. Hercule is such a... a Stellar detective, and I would love to see him, Nancy Drew, um, Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> the detective, I can't think of the detective name from Edgar Allan Poe's work, it's like Mr. D or something, I think it was Mr. D or something like that, it was, you know, no moniker, it's just mysterious, and I thought, oh yes, enigmatic, and it works for, you know, private investigations, and no one really knew who he was, he just, they just knew his line of work, and I thought, hmm, yes, but Mysterious Affair Styles is just so classic in the way it's written, and I'm glad she wrote it, I'm glad that she was able to become highly successful off of this and spin off a whole bunch of other Hercule stories that were also very highly successful, probably some of the best sellers of their time, and still are some of the best sellers of their time, and she was a trailblazer, I, I love that, and, um, Hercule is just, he's one of those uh, titular characters and paramount to the mystery genre. And when you think of detectives, personally, Hercule will come to my mind as well as Sherlock, obviously, because I grew up with Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. And um, I just, I love the whole idea of the genre itself because it keeps you intrigued. It keeps you on the edges of your, of your seat. And you're left wondering, well... Any number of people could have committed this crime. And the same with this is anybody could have committed the, the murder most foul. In this case, or the poisoning. Small spoiler. Um, but it's just wonderfully, spectacularly written. It's phenomenally done. And I loved every second. I did not want to put this book down. I was, I was thinking, oh no, it's like losing an old friend and you don't want your friend to leave. And you go, well, if you have to go, then go but it was, it was bittersweet for me when I finished but um I'm glad I finally read it and um I would love to read more Agatha I don't know if I will but I'm really hoping that they will produce the other Agatha Christie novels as film because when they did um Mystery of the Orient Express it, it was spot on and I really want to see that done with other films because they couldn't have done it better. And the actor who played Perot, oh, c'est magnifique. And, of course, um, one of my favorite actors in the ABC Murders, they had John Malkovich playing Perot. And I honestly think that those two um, versions of Perot um, were just... Uh, extraordinarily done. And um, I lean toward the side of Malkovich. I love Malkovich. Malkovich has always been one of my favorite actors because he's a method actor. But um, I really don't have that much to say, honestly, 
about uh, the book in and of itself, other than it was really just marvelously done. And if you're a fan of mystery and um, intrigue and solving the case and leading the bad guy, of having everything come to justice at the end, then this is definitely your book. Had a happy ending, too. So, well, and a little bit of a, we're leading you into a series, or it's going to be a serial book, and it's episodic, and that's what I love about it. But that's basically all I have to say about the mysterious affair at Styles. So until next time, live on prosper. Ciao,